We present Audio Quilt, an automated system for arranging audio samples in 2D using metric learning and kernelized sorting. The modern musician possesses a large number of audio samples from a variety of sources. In this work, we automatically arrange these samples in a way that facilitates easy exploration. Given a set of sound samples, we compute their MFCC descriptors, log attack time, and temporal centroids. We then calculate pairwise distances between the feature vectors. Sample similarity is ill-defined due to the fact that the perceived distance is subjective and depends on a user's taste. We allow the user to specify pairs of samples which should be close and pairs which should be far away. We then use metric learning to warp the space according to the user's preferences. Metric learning warps all of the samples, not just those that were used for training. The output of metric learning is a refined distance measure. Audio Quilt allows the interface designer or the user to specify arbitrary arrangements for the sound samples. For example, a dense grid might be required if screen real estate is limited. Given a desired arrangement, we calculate distance between all points. This creates a second pairwise distance matrix. We use kernelized sorting to find a permutation such that distances between the sound samples and between desired locations match. This permutation is a one-to-one -one matching between our sound samples and the desired locations. Each sample is placed in a single location such that close samples are similar. We will now show two interfaces we created using AudioQuilt technology. For our first interface, the user is presented with a rectangular grid. Each cell contains a snare drum sample. The color and position both indicate similarity, and each cell has an overlay of the corresponding waveform. Note that all the snares in the following example are the test set and were not labeled. A suitable feature space for the snare drums was created using metric learning on a separate training set. We can see that the snares on the top left are punchy and aggressive. The snares at the bottom right are tight and snappy. The punchy aggressive group gives way to a collection of hip hop style snares. As we continue downwards, the snares become progressively more acoustic in nature, smaller and tighter. Other groups appear in other locations. Other color schemes can emphasize different aspects of the sound. Here are some synthesized sounds in the grin interface. The previous interface uses a fixed arrangement. We will now show an interface that facilitates a dynamically changing layout. Nodes can be created and move freely. Samples are sorted onto the nodes. The user can further refine the arrangements by assigning group labels. Now the nodes are sorted according to the user's guidance. 
we include several predefined patterns. The interface can also be used to explore synthesized samples. Here's a simple four-parameter synth. Drawing two clusters clusters the data accordingly. As before, the user can specify groups. The two groups act as endpoints for the newly crafted space. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>